Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Hopkinton High School. It's Hopkinton Hillers softball, as today they take on the 13-0 Norton Lancers, a great pitching matchup on hand for you today. Bree Mirabli on the mound for the Hopkinton Hillers and for the Norton Lancers, it is Kelly Nelson. Mirabli set to deal. There's strike three, she strikes out the side. And the game will remain scoreless. The Hillers coming up in the bottom of the second. Nelson deals, strike three. And she gets all three outs via the strikeout. And it is an absolute pitcher's duel here in Hopkinton. We'll head to the top of the third. It's a scoreless game between Norton and the Hillers. They've scored 101 runs throughout their 13 games. There is strike three. Bree Mirabli feeling it. Two straight innings where she strikes out the side. We will head to the bottom of the third. It's a scoreless game between Norton and Hopkinton. Nelson deals. Swinging strike, and Nelson strikes out the side in the third inning. And we will head to the top of the fourth. Mirabli delivers. Strike three, and she gets out of the jam. Strike three, and Nelson once again strikes out the side, and we will head to the top of the sixth. Now it is Bree Mirabli strikes out the side once again, and that is her fourth inning in this game where she got all three outs via the strikeout. There it is, strike three. Mirabli with her 16th strikeout, and we will head to the bottom of the seventh. It's a scoreless game between the Hillers and Nortons. There's strike three to the top of the eighth we go. It's a scoreless game between Norton and Hopkinton. Dunn steps back in, the bunt fouled away, and that is strike three because she bunted. And that will wrap it up for the 10th inning Despite the Norton Lancers getting two hits, the game remains scoreless as we head to the bottom of the 10th. And this is it in the right field, that'll drop down. Winning run being waved around, third base to throw in, not in time, and the Hillers win the game. Katie Sylvester comes around to score, and the Hillers win the game, one to nothing. Emily Whalen with the game-winning RBI base hit in the bottom of the 10th. The Hillers get the one to nothing victory. Emily Whalen was the star as she knocked in the winning run. Both teams had four hits. Pinch runner for Heather Holly. Katie Sylvester scored the winning run as the Hillers handed Norton their first loss of the season. Hillers improved to 11 and three overall. How did it feel to get the game-winning hit after this tremendous pitcher's duel today? Uh, complete. So everything was just done. Yeah. Did you see something in that pitch that you knew you were just going to hit it? It was inside, high inside, and I just drove it. The pitch I like, so. All right. Um, how's the season been for you so far? You're uh, really racking up the numbers. Everything going well for you? Yeah, it's been going well. I mean, I've been hitting consistently, so, yeah. Now, how was it being out there for 10 innings? Did it get tiring after a while? Mm, no, definitely not. It was, it was really fun, actually. Just, they're a hard team to play, but we fought back and we won, so. All right, congratulations. We look forward to the rest of the season. Thank you. All right, so a 10-inning uh, game, <laughs> and you just had a game yesterday. How's the arm feeling? Right oh, now? it's not going to work for a couple days. That's okay, though. It's totally worth it. How did it feel to walk away with the victory after this hard-fought pitcher's duel? Oh my god, it feels amazing. Like, every year we play Norton and we know that they're gonna come play to win, you know. Like, the last game we played, we lost 3 nothing, And that was really hard for us and we really wanted to come at them this year and we wanted to redeem them and, you know, Coach was getting the other pitcher warmed up and it's my senior year and I wanted to win against Norton and I was like, no, Coach, put me in, put me in. I want to do this and I'm just so, so excited that we won. Now, when you were throwing pitches in the ninth or tenth inning, how did that arm feel? 
Um, it was a little tired, but I think really just falling back on the idea that I have this and, you know, falling back on the teachings of my pitching coach at Plant Fast Pitch in Uxbridge, I think that was, like, huge. And the team behind me, they're great. And I knew I had everyone's support, and I just knew to be mentally tough. I've been taught all my pitching career to be mentally tough, and that's what I did. Well, after a 0-2 star, you guys are now 11-3. and How does that feel? Oh, my God. It feels so good. You know, it's, it's hard to start off and, you know, with two losses like that, but this team is extraordinary, and we've come so far in such a short amount of time, and this game is really the capstone. You know, the season's not over, but this game really is representative of what we've been able to do, and I'm just so proud of all of us. It's amazing to be a part of this team. All right, well, congratulations on a tremendous pitcher's performance out there. Thank Thank you. And we look forward to the rest of the season. I do too. So a 10 inning pitchers duel out there. How did it feel to come away on the winning side? Really good. I'm really late for dinner, but I'm so okay with it. <laughs> it was awesome. Um, I just wanted it. They hung in there the whole time. You know, it was all about body language and I think they stayed in it through that last crossing of the plate. Now after uh, playing back-to-back -back games today, being your second game in that back-to-back -back series, uh, yeah. Did you get worried about Brie Mirabli at all out there? I wouldn't say worried, but I was watching her closely. She wanted it bad. She, I think if we had gone one more, we would have had a more serious conversation, but she really wanted it, and I, you know, she had it in control through the end. So I Was there any it. point that you even asked her if she wanted to come out of the game? I asked her how she was doing, and I got a very quick, good, I'm good. All right, and now the, uh, the game-winning hit by Emily Whalen. Uh, can you just talk about that? Absolutely. She's been working hard all year. She came through yesterday. She had a great game, too. Um, so I had a lot of faith in her up at that plate. I knew she wanted it. We've been working on scoring runners, and she pulled it off. She did great. All right, Coach. Uh, after an 0-2 start, you guys now 11-3 and on the season. How does it feel with such a great turnaround? I'm really, really proud of them. I told them coming into this game, we saw Norton's second game of the season. We're a completely different team than we were, and our goal was to show everybody that, and I think they did just that. All right, Coach. Well, we're looking forward to the rest of the season and even further. Thanks Absolutely. a bunch. Absolutely. Thank you.